Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I have the new Clarity Cosmetics Deadly Rose Palette. This palette dropped uh, last week, I believe, and it retails for $30.00. Currently sold out, but I'm hoping that they do a restock of it because you guys are definitely going to want to check out this beautiful nine pan color story. So in this palette, you're getting a mixture of matte and foiled shimmers. It does retail for 30 bucks. I am loving this color story. I think this was a different take on like maybe an anti-Valentine's Day palette, but I'm also getting holiday vibes, Christmas vibes from this one. I see green in here, so I think we're going to have a pretty good time with this one, and I'm just really excited to dive into it. I do have an affiliate code with Clarity Cosmetics. It is Steph 5, and that saves you 10% off of your order. However, I am not sure if of if affiliate codes are currently working i know they were changing their systems and stuff so you can try it if it works great if it doesn't maybe they have another one on their website to where there's another palette that you want to pick up because clarity cosmetics is definitely one of my favorite indie brands i think they have an awesome formula and if you haven't checked them out yet put them on your list for 2024. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just wanna say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph. I love trying out new makeup, especially new indie makeup. I do makeup haul videos. I do um, makeup ranking videos, get ready with me style of videos. If that sounds great to you, I want to invite you to become part of our makeup family. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you're a fan of Clarity Cosmetics or maybe this color story is really grabbing your attention, please give this video a big thumbs up before you go. As usual, everything that I'm wearing will be linked and listed in the description box. Some of those links might be affiliate links. So if you do end up shopping, I thank you so, so much for supporting me and my channel. Yes, I do have my hair extensions in and I will have them linked there from Amazon and they are super inexpensive. If you guys wanna see the two looks I'm about to create with Deadly Rose from Clarity Cosmetics, keep on watching. Now I've already primed my eyelids with the Bella Beauty Bar eyeshadow primer and I do have an affiliate code with Bella Beauty Bar. It is step 10 and that saves you 10% off of your order. So one of my shadows, this one right here when I was swatching it I pressed a little too hard and then it started to crumble so these shimmer shadows are very softly pressed so just be mindful of that um, I think we have to start with green obviously but what I think I'm gonna do first is go in with this shade right here this one is called a uh, lonely petal and that's the thing with clarity cosmetics they always have the coolest shade names and then I'm gonna go down here with this one called uh, uh, my love stems deep and I'm using my game beauty e01 to apply just work that in the crease and I know they released a couple other shadows they released some single shadows along with this collection I don't know if they were singles of this palette or just different singles all together but it was like their anti-valentine's day release and I wanted to pick it up sometimes I'll get PR from Clarity this one I did purchase myself now this is one of those shadows that definitely looks a little different from what it is in the pan and how it translates to the eye it looks definitely darker than how it looks in the pan. Now I'm taking the green on a BK211. Sister is here in the room. I'm sure you can hear her little bell in the background. She is doing her morning investigations and she is playing and she is recovering well from her surgery. She got spayed a few days ago. Ooh, I'm loving the way this looks. And of course, I am getting ready for work. So hopefully um, you guys can help me choose or you guys not help me choose, but I'll let you comment down below which look you think I'm going to work in today. 
And I have a feeling this is going to be an evening video when it goes up. I don't think this is going up in the morning. Just going to add a little bit of that first shade back. All right, now for a shimmer shadow, I think I want to do this one. This is the one that I pressed a little too, uh, <laughs> a little too aggressively in. This one is called Poisonous Kiss. And I'm using my Morphe M124 to apply. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is also a shimmer shade. It's called Head Over Heels. I'm taking that on a little BH Cosmetics pencil brush, and I did spray it. I'm going to do a different shimmer for that inner corner. So I'm kind of stopping right there. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Once and For All. This shade is going to be a little more textured. So I would recommend glitter glue for this particular shade. Ooh, I like that. All right, guys, I'm going to add the finishing touches off camera and I will be right back to show you this completed look number one. All right, guys, so here is a completed look number one. I did some Rare Beauty liquid eyeliner on the top lash line. I went in with the Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara. And for the lower waterline, just a NYX, I mean, not a NYX, an LA Girl Shockwave eyeliner in the shade Blackout. And I love the way this look turned out. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. All right, so for look number two, we definitely have to work with the red shade. So I think I'm gonna use these two matte shades on the crease and then maybe do the red shimmer on the lid. And then, this is the only shade I wouldn't have used, so I'll have to use this for the lower lash line. I'm taking the shade Love Trap on a BK Beauty 202. I like that we're getting these like taupey gray shades. We don't always get these kind of shades in eyeshadow palettes, so I think that's pretty cool. Clarity just, they have amazing color stories. Like I've always been in love with with their color stories as well as their formula. Now on a refer 13, I'm going in with the red shade called Dead Ringer. I love that. And I'm just keeping it right here to the outer corner. Now I'm going in with the red shimmer called He Loves Me Not on a damp Morphe M124. Ooh, that is a good red. Wow. I'm going to go back in with the first shade just to bring that back a little bit right in here. And I'm going back in with the matte red. Ooh, I love the way this one turned out. Nice. Okay. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to use the only shade I have not used in this palette, and it is this green down here. This one is called Wilted Rose. And I'm not going to spray the brush. I'm using that BH Cosmetics pencil brush, but... Wow. These are some really nice shades. Very deep shades, but then you have those two lighter taupey shades. That way um, they make good transition shades as well. I think I'm going to end up bringing the red down. I'm going to use that same brush. Just get the red shimmer. Put it right in there. Hey, let me go off camera, take care of the finishing touches. I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. All right, guys, so here's the completed look number two. I love it. This one might be my favorite. That red is so good. Same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. I went in with this Essence a Gel Liner. This one is in the shade 
uh, 07 Emerald Dragon. I got to use all nine shades in this palette. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I think Clarity Cosmetics did a phenomenal job with their Deadly Rose palette. I'm not really into skulls that much, but I think what's inside is definitely worth checking out. This is a beautiful nine pan color story with those taupes and reds and greens. You have to be careful with especially like this shade and this shade, they are very softly pressed. So just go in lightly if you're going to use your finger or a damp brush because um, they will start to crumble just a little bit, but they're very impactful. I thought that both looks turned out great. The mattes, easy to work with, easy to blend. The only shadow that I would recommend a glitter primer for is this one right here because it's the most textured shimmer out of the one, two, three, four, five that are in this palette. But I'm really hoping, hoping it comes back in stock because for 30 bucks, this is definitely worth having in your stash. If you collect Clarity Cosmetics the way I do, this is definitely worth picking up and it is getting two thumbs up from me. Again, it is currently sold out. Hoping they do a restock soon because I think they have a gorgeous palette on their hands and I love that it is a nine pan palette. Now it's time for you to start the guessing game and let me know which look you think I'm going to wear to work today. Am I going to be wearing the green or the red? I'm wearing all black today, so I could easily go either way. Let me know which look was your favorite. Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.